Okay, hi, I'm Joel Lebov, and today I'm going to show you some attributes of very high performance data acquisition boards, ones that can be used for scientific and medical type of applications, and industrial type applications where you're dealing with very small signals, dealing with signals where the clock frequency is generated externally, such as laser type systems where you're looking at the pulse height, and other very high end applications where you really need to look at signals with great precision. Okay, here we have, this is an AD 14-400X2, 500X2, which is a dual channel 14-bit 500 mega sample board. And this has signal averaging and heterodyne triggering, and also very deep memory and very fast transfer to the host. Inside the system, the similar board, the 400 megahertz model, but otherwise similar. And both of these products, in addition to taking in data, they can also show TTL signals, so you can record fiducial marks from your, you know, your experimental apparatus, or in the case of a military apparatus, let's say you have a radar system, you can show the, set the position of the antenna as a, as a blip on the TTL. Here we have a sine wave from a signal generator right here, fairly clean. Here you have the sine wave, the time domain, and the frequency spectrum. Now I'm going to add some noise. Anyway, what I have here is a terrible looking signal, a noisy signal, deliberately made. And you see suddenly we're adding a noise that's greater than what the signal strength even is. Look at the noise floor climbed way up. You see a very, very poor signal noise ratio. Now we're going to try to average it. Let's turn on the average we're going to do. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how we can notice the noise floor jumps way up. And this noise floor is not much better than the signal you can see. Now what we're going to do, we're going to turn on the averager. First we're going to do just 10 averages. Suddenly, you can see already the signal looks a lot better. The noise floor dropped down considerably. Now we're going to average 100 times. 100 times should provide you again a one th threefold improvement on signal noise, and it does. Now we're going, and you see the noise floor drop down to right about there. Now we're going to go to average 500 times. This will take a second or two because it's actually got to gather more data. There you see the average data 500 times. The noise floor is even down. And this averager, by the way, can average hundreds of thousands of times if you want it. So if you want to really get signals that are stable but extremely noisy, and you can bury you get buried signals from way deep down in the noise. And that's how signal averaging works on these type of high end data acquisition boards. In addition to the capabilities we showed in the last segment, these boards additionally can look at TTL signals. In other words, along with the sine wave that we're showing here from the signal generator, I'm also showing a sync bit from a TTL generator. So I can actually look at a TTL line. I can put it, I have up to four inputs. I can take it off one of these, put it on the second one right here. You can see it in the there, you see it in the center of the third one there. So you can look at up to four signals at the same time, or sync signals, trigger signals, any kind of signal that's telling you what your apparatus is doing that's supplying the signal. And you can precisely synchronize it in exact one sample synchronization. Literally, if this is sampling at 400 million cycles a second, which it is, so, is these, so are these TTL bits being sampled. So let's say you have a radar antenna that's rotating around. You want to know when it's hit the beginning of the 360 degree circle one fiducial point. You can have that and just go into one of the TTL bits and it's recorded right along with the signal so you know exactly where you are. You can have an optical encoder and you can show the optical encoder information on the TTL lines. Um, it can be used for like an NMR experiment where you can show where the NMR pulse starts. Look at the echo, the spin echo, and the radio. So there's, there's a million applications where time aligned, precise triggering at exactly no, virtually no jitter with respect to the analog signals support. And one other feature that's essential in high end data, data acquisition boards, particularly ones that are used in op applications like OCT, optical coherence tomography, and other applications of the various ones where lasers are swept, is the ability to trigger on an external, have an external clock, and be able to sweep that clock rapidly. And here we have a sweat sweep generator, a generator that can sweep the clock from anything, you know, hundreds of megahertz of sweep in just milliseconds. For demonstration purposes, I have the start frequency of 10 megahertz, which is the lowest frequency this board can um, tolerate and accept the clock, all the way up to 400 megahertz, which in this particular model is the highest. And you can see I'm just changing the clock frequency. I have a stable input frequency. You can see as the clock frequency is changing, you can see obviously the resolution, the 
time, you know, the time to time sample time changes too, so you can see this frequency being swept. And there's no glitches that occur as you sweep the frequency rapidly. Board is made to be swept quickly for most demanding applications, including pulse height measurements from laser-based apparatus.